The third type of speaker label is the unidentifiable speaker. It is used when you can't identify who the speaker is. Common uses of this speaker label are when you hear a crowd cheering or chanting like this. As you can hear, there are hundreds of people singing at the same time and you can't identify any single person. Another possible use of this speaker label is when you hear speech from a single person but you can't be sure of who spoke. In these cases, you can create a new speaker and name the speaker unidentifiable speaker. In any given task, there can only be one unidentifiable speaker label and this speaker label does not include numbers. So putting an unidentifiable speaker one would be a mistake. Once you save it, remember that all of the speech that comes from an unidentifiable speaker should be attributed to the same unidentifiable speaker label. Remember that for this speaker label too, all of the letters in the speaker label should be in lowercase.